What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday and there's been a lot of talk about Don Fan. Uh, especially last week we covered, uh, I think, the German regionals? Yeah, Germany regionals and Sindelfingen? I don't know how to say their name. Sorry, it was happened on April 14th. So it's about uh, 10 days ago when I recorded this. Maybe 12 days when this deck shows up um but we are covering don fan now this deck would unfortunately get ninth place it would barely miss top eight it was piled by toby uh wooler will Wool i can't figure how to say his name uh from the uk look at there good old great britain uh but he piled this don fan deck now don fan's deck we really haven't seen too much but today we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see why this deck did so well and why did tommy yeah, to no toby toby got nice place sorry toby all right so let's let's look at the deck guy so we got Don Fan. Don Fan has a spinning turn attack. It does 40, and he switches Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Fair, like, it's a simple concept, right? You spinning turn, you switch the active to the bench, and that's all you do. Now, what you spin to, it's going to be different things depending on the situation. The majority of the time, it's going to be Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet has that Bide Barricade ability as long as Pokemon are active. Your opponent has no abilities in their hand. The disc can have nothing. They can use any of the abilities, which is fantastic because in Expanded, Zarg is definitely one of the best decks in Expanded. Uh, so you can spin to Wobbuffet. They can't use their abilities, uh, and you might be able to shut them down just, that, just by using that. Now, you can also switch it to Hoopa. Hoopa's got the Scoundrel Guard, make it where you can't be hurt by GX or EX, but the thing about Expanded is this Call Card Hex Maniac, which can shut down the Scoundreling, which is really, it turns it bad all of a sudden. Uh, one, Buttleby. Buttleby has the <clears throat> Barrage trait, uh, where you can attack twice, and basically what you're going to do is you can use Rotatilla to shuffle a card from your discard pile to your deck, or you can burrow this card top card of your opponent's deck. So if your opponent has like two cards left, you could burrow the deck amount, or you can get back some port cards with Rototiller, maybe so you don't deck out. Maybe you're playing against like Waylord or something. Maybe against like, um, maybe get Sylveon. You can start Rototiller cards back into your deck or something to help you out that way. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the cards there. And of course, one Lily to help set up. And one Oracorio for that super natural dance. You also could use Revelation Dance uh, to do 60 times 220, which could one shot some Muse or something like that. If you want to go that way with Choice Fan. So that's going to be all of our Pokemon, but the main attacker is going to be Dawn Fan, spinning a turn into Wobbuffet. So one computer search for consistency reasons, one field blower, two nest ball to search for base Pokemon, and put it onto your bench, which is going to come really great later on when I explain this deck more. Uh, one rescue stretcher, get one Pokemon to three, um, back into your deck, one into your hand. One Ultra Ball, which seems kind of weird, but like I said, we'll explain more of that here in a second. Uh, three VS Seeker to search for you support a card. I guess he just like didn't have the space, so that's why he's playing 30 VS Seeker. Three Parallel City, so you can put your opponent down to three. So basically, when you're playing against Zark, you can Parallel City down to three, and then use Wobbuffet to shut down their ability. So now they can't one shot your Wobbuffet. And you should be good to go from there. Uh, one AZ to po put one Pokemon back into your hand. You do have to discard all cards attached to it, but you can uh, just pick up like a Pokemon that's not hurt. Like let's say they just, they just don't hurt anybody. They just goose my pass, but then you can AZ it back into your hand. Uh, or AZ, yeah, AZ back in your hand. But you still play two Guzma to get around if you need to as well. Now for Karina, Karina is going to be your main way to search Pokemon out. Search it for a fighting Pokemon. And an item card, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So this means you could Korean it for like a fan fee and a nest ball. And the nest ball can get you like a Dawn fan or another fan fee. Maybe get the Wobba fan, whatever you need. Uh, maybe the Ultra Ball, a really, really good thing for sure. Two in. Uh, for Juniper, Juniper instead of Sycamore is the same thing. I think he played, did he play Juniper or Sycamore? I think I just had Juniper in here when I built the deck. So it's like, it's a, Dolphin's a relatively old deck. Oh no, he did play Juniper. So we're playing Juniper instead of Sycamore. Same exact thing, discard draw seven, if you didn't know that. Uh, one Kikui should do a, additional 20 damage, which could matter later on. Uh, one teammate, so if Pokemon is knocked out, you can search your deck for 82 cards, which is really nice. Uh, two choice band do an extra 30 damage. You have the three flow so to give you Wobbuffet that free treat you need to switch back into your Dawn fan because uh, Wobbuffet does not have free treat. Two muscle band so you do additional 20 damage. Now this is to any kind, not just GX Pokemon or EX like choice band does. I uh, remember choice band only does his GX EX while muscle band does the everything. So it could be relatively, uh, it could be you know it could be some usefulness for sure. Maybe a tackle with the with the muscle band for 30 times two is 60 for Zora. That could work there. Uh, four strong energy, so you do additional 20 damage. So now your spirit turn to 60 plus choice band 90. You can start 
do some big numbers there. Plus, Kikui, 110, 220 to knock out a Zork if you need to. Uh, two DCE and four fighting. Now, there's one attack I didn't talk about, and that is Wreck. Uh, Wreck does 80, and there's Stadium card to play. This attack does 60 more damage. Discard that Stadium card, and that's why he does play the two DCs. Just in case you can get four energies on this guy, you can Wreck. Uh, do a ton of damage that way with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, do 140 plus choice. Uh, 170 plus strong, 190 plus another strong 210. Hey, there you go. Uh, so we're going to play Don Fan, play some games with it. We're going to versus. Uh, like I said, Donphan's a very old deck. We haven't really seen it do very well. And I didn't think that Donphan would even... I think Donphan still might struggle against Zork. Because Zork's just so consistent. Like, this is an evolution deck. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to set up still. Uh, but we'll see what happens today. Looking for our opponent. And uh, we'll see what happens today on Expanded Thursday, guys. Alright, so looking for our opponent. Who can we find here? Alright, hopefully it's some Zork decks. We can show off against that. And it gets a Garden Gnome. Looks like they are playing a Zork deck for sure. They get the Zork coin. They get the Dark. They get the Fighting. Uh, they get the Grass for the Execute. And we are going first is great. Because we're playing against two Evolution decks. Uh, we want to go first and try to get the first swing. And we do start with Wobbuffet. Now, Wobbuffet shows off all abilities except for Psychic Pokemon. I didn't clarify that earlier. I know somebody's probably going to be like, But Josh, you said blah, blah. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, but Wobbuffet does not shut down Psychic Pokemon, so you still can use good old Lele for Bridge if he wants to. So there's an X start, and there's an N. So I'm just going to end right here. I, there's no need to, like, put down Parallel City. We're going to wait because he plays his own Parallel City. So we actually have a really bad turn one, just because we didn't find anything, really. Well, okay, so next turn, we're Karina. Karina for, like, a Dawn Fan and Love Ball, or for Nest Ball to grab another Dawn Fan, or Fanfy, sorry. But this list, let's play Fresh Letter. It does play... Um, it does play strong or er, uh, computer search. You can search out of energy that way with Karina when you search for Ida card. But here we see Layla for Bridget, okay. So we're gonna see Bridget happening, but we still got the Wobbuffet, which is gonna shut down Zark so he can't trade next turn. All right, so here we go. There's a bridge. I gotta find three Zoras, maybe like two Zoras, and I'm in a set of Wudo if he wants to go that way. We'll see what the Bridget gets my opponent. Um, Let's see. Now, one thing this deck could play is Choice Ban. Uh, choice Ban makes it your full HP and you're knocked out. You're not knocked out. You have 10 HP less. Discard the Choice Ban. All right, Compressor. Go discard some eggs, most likely. But he can't propagate, remember. Uh, once Wubb is active, he really can't do anything about it. All right, so let's see what this, what this Compressor gets up. Now, if he goes early and, dis and like attaches a Floodstone, it doesn't retreat. We could punish him that way as well because we have the one Field Bar in our hand, which is really nice. Okay. Well, let's see here. What does the Compressor get him? Remember, he can't play Execute because we have the Bide Barricade in the active. He could discard like some supporter cards if he has a VS Seeker. Maybe he wants a Colors. Maybe he wants an End. Maybe Sycamore. Maybe Cynthia or something like that. That could be some things he could do as well this turn. Okay. So he discards an Egg, a Red card, and another uh, Floatstone. Okay. So there's Double Puzzle. Double Puzzle is going to get him a Red card and a Puzzle. I mean, a Floatstone. Okay. Now, this is what I'm saying. If he goes Flustone and does a retreat, then that could be very bad for opponent. Um, just because we have Field Blower. I mean, he could, I mean, he could red card us so we don't find the Field Blower again. Uh, but here we see red card. Getting rid of our hand. We're going to get four new cards. Okay. I mean, still, this is actually a really good hand still. Uh, so, Flustone to the, uh, to the Zora, actually. Okay. Pass on to our turn. All right. So, we will Karina. Uh, with Karina, we'll find a Fanfy. And our item card is going to be a Nest Ball. All right, so we get two Fanfies out. So there we go. We'll get a Fanfie, put another Fanfie down. So Fanfie coming on the line. We'll Nest Ball for another Fanfie. Okay. Wow, we have two Fanfies prize. Great. All right, so put that down. Press. Done. It's our opponent's turn. Okay. Now next turn we can, you know, put down Dawn Fan. Put a Choice Fan. Sycamore, or Jun Juniper, sorry. Discard our hand. Draw seven cards. Trying to play a Flowstone and the Fighting Energy. There we see a Zork. Oh, it's a Mind Jack Zork coming on the line. Okay. But he still can't stand in. Uh, he can't stand in because Wobbuffet still has a Bide Barricade going on. So he really can't stand in like he wants to right now. Uh, let's see what this new hand gets. So we get a Fanfy. We get a Guzma. An N as well. Um, now, if we try to make a Fighting... Uh, no, we don't need to drop a Lele. Lele would be pretty silly to drop right now. So DC to the Zora. Okay. Pass on to our turn. Right, so we find a Floodstone. So Floodstone the active. We'll put down Dawn Fan. We'll play an N, and all we need is a Fighting Energy. We can start using that Spinning Turn Attack and knock out the Execute. Actually, yeah, yeah, we can knock the Execute in. We don't find a Fighting Energy. That's very unfortunate for us. So we'll put down the Wobbuffet, and I think we just pass right now. We could be down to the Wobbuffet. It doesn't really matter. I have three Robs, sure. All right, so pass our opponent's turn. Okay, that's really unfortunate. 
Danny found a Guzma. Now, most of us only play one Guzma. There's a Skyfield. Okay, this is actually really good because we can put our Skyfield, not a Skyfield, but put down our um, Counter Stadium, maybe? Draw, draw to Parallel City, put it down to three. No, four. What am I talking about? It's... Yeah, three. Three, three. What am I talking about? So, this card's an Orcor and Ultra Ball. All right, we'll probably see a Zark GX. There we go. But remember, he still can't trade this turn. Yeah, he can maybe knock out the Wob for this turn if he wants a Flood of DC to retreat or a Flowstone. They will see a VS Seeker. There's no Guzma. We will see a Bridget here, and we will see an N instead, which is fantastic. All right, so hopefully we can find something here with this N. Maybe find a, an Energy, maybe a Guzma and Energy. I would love to knock out the Zark right now. Or not knock out the Zark, but do heavy damage to it. And there we see a strong energy coming down, but we have no Guzma in this card pile. Alright, there's a DC going to the active execute, actually. Wow. And there's a red card. Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, so we got the strong energy. We got the we got the Dawn fan. We see another Zark coming out. Still can't trade. Can't do any of that stuff. Uh 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Uh, so you treat into the Zark GX, and we'll see a riotous beating. But remember, he still has no access to his trades right now. So he's going on to five. Uh we'll send up Dawn fan, okay. On our turn, we have a Juniper, and there's Kikui. So let's see, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. So still not a knockout. So I'm just going to put a strong energy in the active and just play Juniper. Uh, just discard our hand. Looking for a Parallel City. Definitely is the better play. And we don't find a Parallel City. So a Nest Ball for another Wobbuffet. I think there's a Wobbuffet in here. Yep, grab another Wobbuffet. Okay. And right now, we are just going to spend a turn for 120. Uh, set up the new Wobbuffet. Going to shut down abilities again. All right, so into our opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> he's already used two puzzles, so that's a good thing for us. What card did he just put down? Was it anything? I'll uh, put Set of Wood down. Okay, Set of Wood doesn't matter for us because we have Wobbuffet. It's really not going to affect us. There's a Guzma. I'm going to bring up a Don Fan. I'm uh, going to send Zark Retreat, and he'll be able to take a knockout this turn with this Zark. That's really unfortunate. All right, this, he got some trades he can use right now. All righty. And this is going to be a problem because we have two Fampies fries. All right, so see the propagation, okay? So he can do whatever he wants to right now. He found his Guzma. He hasn't played any. He's played one VS sticker, okay? So see another trade, discarding the egg. Hmm. <clears throat> so we're going to end up now to uh, four cards for sure this turn. Um, yeah, because he's got six. He's going to draw the card. He's going to have seven. So there's a compressor, okay? Yeah. So we're going to end up down to four and hopefully find a parallel city. Uh, kind of hurt him just a little bit because putting him down to three could be really I mean It's not too bad because he'll definitely just have like double Zork and like a Zork and like something else So he just got a Zork GX actually, okay Interesting, okay We see a stretcher to put the Zork in his hand. So now he has three Zorks. All right, so there we go to the Zork come online uh, We're still gonna end him though because he's gonna like have cards in his hand that he wants to see so another Zork GX coming down um, remember, he is down one VS Seeker, his one Guzma probably as well, but they only play usually one. The problem is, we need to find our Stretcher to get back a Fanfy next turn. Alright, so see a trade, discarding the egg, drawing two new cards, okay. So he's got six again, then he's going to draw another card, have seven. So we're definitely going to end him down to four. I uh, put a strong energy on Dauphin. Alright, there's a DCC active, so you're actually going to see a right. We're actually a Mind Jack here, alright, so 130, okay. Goes down to four. But maybe we still knock out his mind jack. That's still not a bad idea. So send us the Don fan. Okay. The man himself, Don fan. Alright, so in our turn, we find a Don fan. Alright, so put a strong energy. We'll put a choice fan. We will be a secret for N. Alright. Let's see. What do we find with this N? Hopefully, we find a parallel city that I'm looking for. Maybe a rescue stretcher. Rescue stretcher is not really that needed. We do find a Skyfield. I feel bored, which, which doesn't get rid of Skyfield, but we can feel bored. Get rid of the Skyfield at least. And it looks like all we're going to get rid of is that Skyfield. We're going to take a knock on the active regardless. Uh, we do 120 to it. So we're going to see him uh, discard down to 5, discard the egg. And then we'll spinning turn for the knockout. Set up a Wobbuffet, shut down his abilities again. There we go. All right, so do it 120. Go down to five price cards. We find a Parallel City. There we go. That's what we need. We just got to hope he doesn't find a Guzma to knock out our Dawn fan. Uh, he'll need a couple things to do this, actually. He'll need a Skyfield. Uh, but if he has Guzma, he'll be able to bring up the Dawn fan, have access to multiple trades this turn, which is not good for us. Okay. <clears throat> All right, see, so there's no trades. Ow, 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 ow. My leg, that hurt. I'm not going to lie. It hurt a little bit. All right. So if he has a Guzma, he needs... Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. Okay, that's not a Guzma. It's not a VS Seeker. 
Remember, he's already done two puzzles. There's a Shaman and Choice Man being discarded. Shaman is not helpful at all right now. There's a Lele, so he can one attack for Lele. Uh, but does he play another Guzma? I don't think so. It'd be pretty insane to see two Guzma. I don't, I don't see most of us playing two. Maybe he does. Let's see. What does he find with this? And he does find a Getsus. Getsus is actually going to get him zero cards. It's going to get him, it's going to net him zero. All right, Skyfield, come on line. Okay. Okay, Getsus. It's going to get him zero cards. And now he's in trouble. He has one card in hand. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. He will be able to take a knockout, but we're going to Perilous City teammates. Uh, a single puzzle of time being played right now. Oh my goodness. So he's going to rearrange top three cards of his deck, but it is not looking good for opponent. We really need a teammates to find a, uh, a rescue stretcher most likely, right? So send it to the Dodd fan. Okay. On our turn, we will teammates. To get two cards in the discard pile, we'll grab... Do we have the stretcher? We do have the stretcher. It's really nice. And then we'll grab a, a Guzma, maybe? We already have energy. Uh, actually, we'll grab another strong energy. So that way we can one-shot a Zark next turn. So grab those two in our hand. We will Parallel City. Our opponent down to three. Okay. So keep a Lele Zark. Zark, most likely. All right, Lele, Lele. Okay, so the Wudo actually being kept. All right, so a stretcher. Put a Pokemon just come out of our hand. We're going to grab a Fanfy. All right. We'll put down the Fanfy. We're going to touch a Fighting Energy to Fanfy. And then we'll Spinning Turn for the knockout. Send a Wobbuffet. Okay. And we're going to do 180. We'll take two prize cards. We find a Fanfy and a Parallel City. All right, so another Parallel. We had two Parallel City prize. My goodness, my opponent has no trades. Now, you could find a VS sticky for Guzma, which is definitely the worst thing to see right now. Uh, but even then, he only has two trades. So, there's an execute coming down. Okay, that's not what he wants to see. There's a VS Seeker. Does he grab Guzma right here? Um, he's gonna go for Colors actually. All right, so Colors gets him six, which is a little bit more than his um, <clears throat> than the other play he could have had. But he needs a lot this turn to actually knock out this Wobbuffet. And if he doesn't, we'll have AZ. We have strong energy. We can take a knockout. This is gonna see a computer search. Okay. This is a Zork and a Lele, so I don't think he's going to be having a knockout this turn. He needs, like, a DCE, a Skyfield, it's a, and a lot of stuff to actually make this happen. So I think we're actually going to win this game against Zark. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's really good. Really good. We had two Fancy Prize, and we still were able to do this. Wow. All right. So let's see. You're going to get a card. Okay. And, yeah, that's going to be game because, I mean... If he swung, we have AZ to pick up Wobbuffet, sit of the Dom, attach a strong energy, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 220 would have one-shot that Zarg, sit of the Wobbuffet, and the next we have Karina to get any card out or get a, a Floatstone or whatever we need to. So yeah, well, there we go. There's game number one. Dom fan taking the win against Zarg GX. Hopefully, we just might get two more Zarg decks and just show how good this is against that match. All right, so Ken Bar Bargain, uh, are they also playing Dom fan? This could be Buzz Swole, actually, though. Um, which I don't know how Buzz Swole really is. I mean, they don't use ability, so Wobbuffet's really not that relevant. The thing here is we have Hoopa, uh, which could maybe make a difference, because, like, Buzz Swole really can't punch the Hoopa unless he plays, like, Garbodor. And that would be the big thing, if he plays Garbodor or not. All right, so press W. He does play Psychic, which doesn't mean he plays Garbodor, but it probably does, right? It could be he just plays... Um, <laughs> Sorry, it could just mean that he plays Lele in fighting. Like, it doesn't mean he's playing Garb just because he has Psyching in his deck, right? So, draws a card, okay. There's a Buzzwell. What's that on the bench? And a Landorus. Alright, so Karina. Uh, creating for Fanfy in the item card. Man, I really wish we had a way to grab Energies right now. That'd be really nice to attach. So, grab a Nest Ball. Alright, we will. Fanfy, Nest Ball, to grab Hoopa, alright, we will Nest Ball for another Fanfy, and then I think we're just going to pass right now, our hand's actually pretty decent next time, we have a Dawn Fan, we have a Floodstone for the Hoopa, uh, Juniper, the question of the day is what kind of fighting deck is he playing, and there is a Viper coming out, so it's a Hypnotoxic kind of list, Alright, that's a very interesting thing to see. So is he uh the wonder tag, okay. 
Now, I mean, we could have, like, maybe retreated to Hoopa, and then, like, he can't punch us, but I did want to commit the Floodstone to Fampy. I wanted to keep it for the Hoopa. Now, if he does go for the Poison here this turn, it's really not going to matter too much. Three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, uh, if he gets, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It actually does take a knockout if he finds a Choice Band. I mean, he finds a Verbing. Three, six. No, no, it does take a knockout regardless. Yeah, we're good. Oh, if he finds another. Okay, there's another Survivor coming down. Okay, so three, four, five, six. So he's doing 60 right now. If he finds a Verbic, he'll actually take a knockout right now. But nope, just see a Jet Punch here. Now, I'm going to do 30 here, 30 there. All right, so take an additional 30 damage. 20 HP left for this guy. But we do have the uh, Dawn Fan. We can put that down. We can put a Flowstone to the Hoopa. Uh, put a Fighting Energy in the active. Actually, we could just Fighting Energy via Seeker for Karina. And then keep the Juniper in our hand right now. So that's actually not a bad play. We'll keep the, we'll keep the stretch for one more turn. We'll grab a Dawn Fan. And a Choice Ban? Yeah, we'll grab a Choice Ban. Sure. Four, five, six, seven. It really doesn't change the math too much. But, I mean, it's nice. It's nice to get out, right? So Dawn Fan. Choice Ban the active. And we'll spinning turn. All right. There we go. Now, the problem is he can still do damage to our bench Dawn Fan. So 70 damage, send a Poopa onto our opponent's turn. All right, so there we go. Did some damage to our boy Boswell. Four, five, six, seven, nine. So the hypnotizing laser, okay. Tells we're not asleep. That's really nice. So we retreat the Hoopa next turn. There we see Ultra Ball discarding it in and an Espeon. Oh, he actually discards his Espeon EX, which actually could be very useful in this matchup. All right, so he's going to go play that down. Okay, there's this another Survivor coming online. Uh, right now, Survivor's doing base thir uh, 40 to our Hoopa. There's a jet punch, okay. Alright, so take a 40 damage. So, we will... Uh, we'll just... Oh, there's an AZ. So, I'm going to AZ the Dawn Fan with 30 on it. Put down Fanfy. Put down Dawn Fan. We will retreat into the Dawn Fan. And we'll spinning a turn again. Yeah, for another 70 damage. Slowly racking up damage on this bus while he's down two Hypnotoxic Laser. Hoopa coming to clutch right now saying, hey, you can't hurt me. Um, and we might just... Yeah, we're going to take a knockout extra to this bus wall. So we'll see if he's taking for Cynthia. Okay. If he finds a Hypnotoxic Laser, he still can't take a knockout unless he finds a... Unless he flips heads. Then we'll be in trouble. Yeah. So, fighting to Landorus. Okay, I don't care about that too much. There's a switch to Landorus, actually, okay? So, you'll say the buzz will for being knocked out right now. So, see Hammerhead do a 30 to our Dawn fan, okay? Alrighty, so on to our turn, we will... I don't want to discard the Stretcher, because I think it's going to be really good for Hoopa, but I really want to attach more energies to a, to a Dawn fan. So, I'm going to put a, a Choice Band here. We'll play... Yeah, I'll we'll just discard the Stretcher. That's fine. I think we'll be fine with just that many Dawn fans. Uh, spin down a strong energy in this guy. We'll retreat into the Dawn fan. We'll go for spinning turn. We'll send up the Hoopa. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we can two shot this guy, which is pretty nice. Okay. Remember, he's down two lasers already. Now he might play. Uh, oh man, there's a fear about going to the active. We do have a computer search and a wide lens. Well, wide lens is not going to matter. He's not hit of weakness. There's a VS in front of the Cynthia, most likely. Okay. But now he's got these two heavily damaged Pokemon. He's got this Buzzwall 50. He's got this Landorus with like uh, 130 left. But we can computer search for the field blower. I, I saw it in there, so I know we're good to go. There's another Hypnotoxic Laser. Okay. Tells. Wow, he's over 3 right now in those. Okay. I'm not complaining. Uh, the problem is he can knock out our Hoopa next turn. He's going to knock out Donphan. Going down to 5 price cards. But I'm not too concerned, actually. Okay. So it goes down to 5. We take 40 damage. Whatever. That's fine. On our turn, what do we find here? We find a Karina. So this is actually really nice. So we get Karina for a Field Blower and a Dawn Fan. Okay. We can Field Blower, get rid of the Fear but off the Active. Okay. We'll Computer Search, discarding the Tapu Lele and Wobbuffet to grab a Strong Energy. My plan is to power multiple uh, Dawn fans, but that's here because we'll try, we're trying to wreck to knock out this Tapu Lele. We'll put a strong energy here. We'll retreat into the Dawn fan. 
And we'll go for another spinning turn for the knockout, actually. Yeah, we'll send a Poopa. All right, so there we go. We're going down to four prize cards. This Buzzwell's close to being knocked out. We have two Dolphins almost ready to power up. Uh, maybe we should have kept the Wobbuffet, so that way we have another Pokemon to retreat to. So here comes the Viper. So that means he probably has Guzma in hand, or maybe he just doesn't want his, his Buzzwell to get knocked out. So we see the Buzzwell come to line. We see a Max Luxor. Okay. Okay, so Max Luxor being on the top of Lele, actually. Very interesting here. Okay. So another Max Luxor going to the Buzzwell. Maybe he mixed click? All right, so we will strong energy at Don fan. We'll do one without the choice fan. Um, I guess we'll Juniper trying to find a muscle man to knock out this guy. And we do find a muscle man. All right, so put down a fan fee. We'll put down a muscle band. We'll retreat into the fan fee and we'll go for that spanning turn for actually for the knockout and instead of Hoopa. Wow, all right, there we go. That's what we want to see. 100 damage being dealt exactly to the Viper. We're going to have three prize cards. There's a Wub fit coming online. Now, we really can't wreck right now because there's no Stadium card to play, which is kind of unfortunate. We see the Buzzwall GX coming up. Okay. Wrecked us. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, my goodness. So, Jet Punch. Going to hit this guy for 30. All right, but I mean, we should almost have a game here. And they received his victory scream up on it. I guess just realized they can't really hurt this Hoopa. Like, maybe they ran into lasers. Maybe they'll play Shadow Tried. Did they not play Shadow Tried? Shadow Tried is a, a way to give back your Plasma cards. We can't see his deck either. That's unfortunate. But let's see one more game with the with the, with the the Fan deck. Let's see what happens. All right, so there we go. Another, yeah, another placement there. There we go. All right, guys. So let's go to game number three. And let's see what happens in those 50 tokens. All righty. Yeah, so let's click play. Let's go to game number three <clears throat> and see what happens. So we saw a Buzzwall Viper deck, which something we really don't see too much at all. But we don't see Donphan either, really. So, so see Loki Savage 101 playing a Psychic deck. All right, so Psychic and Metal, two combinations I'm not really 100% uh, agree. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So we lost the coin flip. I think it's our first coin flip we lost, I think. Could be wrong. Oh, man. All right. So we start with the... Oh, man. All right. So press done. All righty. So let's see here. What can we do? Now, we what we could do is actually just DC active and just like... Ooh. 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 Is this a Durant deck? I think that's what it is. I think this is Durant, actually. All right. So, yeah. We'll draw with all the mulligans. <laughs> press done. None of those cards are good. And there's a Mew and a Durant. That's what I thought. All right, so we will see a Durant coming out. Now, we actually can one-shot this Mew this turn. Uh, we'll go to DC in the active. And Kikui. If we want to go that strong. <laughs> There's another Durant coming out. So Durant, Durant has his attack called Devour. For each Durant to play, you discard the top card of each for your opponent's deck. And there's an N. <laughs> well, there goes the, the game plan of one-shotting the Mew this turn. So how do we deal with Durant? I actually don't know. I feel like it's going to be a very hard matchup for us, just to be honest. Okay, so our hand's really good right now. So Karina for a Fanfy. Um, hmm. Okay, so we could take a knock on a Mew this turn. Um, Fanfy. Uh, the only problem is okay. So we got Fanfy and a Field Blower. I have this. Weird play that we're going to do this turn. So we're going to press done. Okay. We're going to put down Fanfy. We are going to computer search, discard the Karina and teammates to grab a DCE. All right. We will DC the active, muscle band the active, and energy drive for 60 for the knockout. All right. So there we go. Doing 60, go down to five prize cards. We find a Juniper. All right, so let's see. So the thing about Durant, he has 70 HP. So we have to two shot this game with the, with the fan fee, unless we find a muscle man for this bench guy. All right, so let's see. If he, touch, if he touches a metal here, we can take a knockout next turn. There's a crush hammer. Tails, all right. Yeah, my wait, wait. Okay, there's the, okay, there's the enhanced hammer. That's what I was kind of expecting. So there's a uh, metal energy and a sycamore discard in their hand, draw seven cards. Now we do have. Bunnelby. Bunnelby can help us out for sure. Um, for sure, for sure. But the problem is, is he's going to devour three. Well, we put two back in the deck, so he eventually will win this game. So is that Mew coming down okay? Hmm, a Mew coming down okay, alright. 
So see it to Val for three. Now a plan is to field bar the active and Juniper to find a float stone. Maybe should have kept the Karina. Okay, counter catch actually. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Dawn fan being discarded though. Okay, so there's that floodstone. Okay, so whatever. We'll field blow the, the that guy. We'll floodstone this guy. Strong energy that guy. And Juniper discard her head draws seven of cards. All right, so we're gonna parallel see our opponent out of three. And we are going to tackle for 30 damage. Okay. Hmm. There's the E hammer, discarding our strong energy. Okay. There's a Team Rocket's handiwork. Tells and heads. All right, discard the Perilous City and a Floatstone. Metal Energy to Mew. Does he retreat? Or not? So we're down computer search. We have no. Uh, Professor, like I've said before, so here comes a Devour. Let's see what these three cards are. <gasps> there's a Fighting Energy. All right, so there's a VS Seeker. Okay, so what can we VS Seeker for? Um, VS Seeker doesn't really get us anything. What's the problem here? Hmm. Do we Kikui for two? Or Karina? Karina doesn't really get us anything. What's the problem here? We have no way to search our energies. So I'm a Karina, I think. Just grab a Fanfy. Yeah, it's not good, guys. This is not going to go well. All right, Fanfy. Don't want to put another Pokemon down. And maybe a Via Seeker. We'll grab a Stretcher. Uh, stretcher could help us put Pokemon back in our deck if we need to. So grab those two. We'll put a Donphan on the active. We'll press. Done with our opponent's turn. Okay. Um, I wish we had it in the discard pile. We might have to kill you for two and hopefully hit a Fighting Energy. So, uh, Metal Energy there. Okay. Hmm. What do we do here, guys? So it's treats to Mew, and we're gonna see a devour for three this turn, actually. Alright, so we need to find a strong energy. Oh my goodness, there's two energies being discarded. Alright, so kill for two. Press done. Oh my goodness. So we have two fighting and two strong energy in the discard pile right now. Okay, there's another devour for three. Alright, on to our turn. We will VS Seeker for Kikui. No, not Karina. Kikui. There we go. Alright, so Kikui for two more. Can we please find an energy to take a knock on the active? And we got one. So we'll put a fighter in the active. We'll put down the muscle band. We'll spin it there for the knockout. Do an 80. Take that. Oh, 60. Wait, did I touch a choice band, actually? Oh, that's a choice band. That's not a muscle band, Josh. Oh my goodness, Josh. You're so silly. Alright, so Durant coming up, alright. We still have VSC for Kikui, so we can knock out the Durant this turn. Uh, no, we can't. What am I talking about? Gladian to see, to see his prize cards. Okay. <clears throat> Puts one in his hand. Okay. Now, we can Guzma knock out the bench Durant, actually, which is pretty nice. There's another Durant coming out, so he had one prized. Okay. There's a Devour for three. A DCE being discarded. All right, so see, a Wobbuffet. Let's put a Fighting G here. We're going to Guzma break up his bench Durant. Send up our, our Dawn fan. Well, spending turn. For 40. Send in Lele. Alright, go down to three price cards. We can find a muscle band. We need that muscle band so bad. Alright, so here comes Durant. Alright. We need to find Oh, both our DCs are gone too. <gasps> and no more fighting energies. Oh my goodness. I think we're actually gonna lose this game, guys. Um, uh, just because we don't have a way to get back our, our stuff. Oh my goodness. Alright, there's Team Rocket's handiwork. Oh, does he win right here? If it's double heads, he wins. Oh my goodness, I can't even be mad. Can't even be mad. I mean, this is a hard match, I'm not going to lie to you. <coughs> oh my goodness. Well, there we go. So we uh, we saw some interesting stuff today. We saw Dawn Fan, which is interesting by itself. We saw Fighting Survivor. Okay. And then we saw Durant, another deck we haven't seen either. Can we see the Durant deck? We can. All right, so here we go. Here is Durant. I know it made an appearance last weekend, I think, as well. Let me make sure. I think it made an appearance at a... Uh, yeah, he actually got 10th place by Nino Coons. Coons? 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 I don't know how to say his name. Uh, is this the same list? No, this list played Jirachi. His list did not play a Jirachi. But yeah, there we go, guys. There is Expanded Thursday. We saw, you know, we beat Sark, which is what we want to see. And then we saw two different other decks playing against this weird Don Fan deck. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, bye.